The heart palpitates when it comes to young children, let alone infants. Why? Because of their pure innocence and the smile that they bring to our hearts and faces. There's a magical spell when it comes to them, a natural instinct that drives one to have compassion and softness towards a child or baby, even if they're total strangers. Their cries send a wave of unexplainable happiness in our hearts, be it at the time of their birth or even in the middle of the night when our sleep is compromised. What can we say when a mother and father are deprived from hearing the innocent cries of their infant baby, not due to natural causes, but to a cold-blooded murder? What can we say when the father, Imam Hussein, seeks to quench the thirst of his infant son Ali al-Azghar, only to receive not water, but instead gushing blood emanating from the baby's tender neck? What can we say as Hussein's heart bleeds while burying his infant and he wonders how to bear the tragic news to his mother? How many delicate orphans were trampled on by horses while the pangs of thirst were eating away their frail bodies? Children who wandered around like lost flocks of birds, feeling the heat of fire, not knowing where the flames are coming from. But Sakina didn't feel orphaned until she felt the slap of shimmer on her cheek and her earring snatched from her ear. Surely, that Ashura day saw tragedies that are beyond description. The Imam's heart was broken and soon his bones become broken too. Soon he was stabbed all over his sacred body with no mercy, such that from a distance, the image of arrows covered his blessed body like a porcupine leaving no sight of him. His body was trampled by horses, dragged and scattered to pieces, his blessed head cut off and put up on a spear. Surely that Ashura day saw tragedies that are beyond description. He was denied water, yet he offered water to those who rejected for him. His lips and tongue parched out of thirst, yet he prays for his followers every time they remember him when drinking water. His head on the spear, yet alive and showering his mercy as he looks over the women and children. His daughter Ruqayya was orphaned after him, yet he comes to her in a dream to provide comfort. He is the manifestation of mercy even in the most of trying of moments merciful to his visitors who come to pay respects to him from near and far. Become Husseini and be merciful to one another. Let not your broken heart block the channels of mercy which God has blessed you with. Be merciful to receive mercy.